We can watch uh, <laughs> this Will Blunderfield thing, and it looks fucking nuts. Let's just try it out. Will B Will Blunderfield Channel Five with Andrew Callahan. Okay. I am shameless. Ever. I am fearless. I am doubtless because fear in the present moment is fear. Fear in the past is shame. Fear in the future is doubt. So when you cup another dude's nuts, <laughs> you're sending good vibrations, good cheats spiraling up the back down the front of each testicle. Good cheats? Oh my god, dude. Uh, oh. oh shit, you can see that. Well, oh wait, no you can't. Wait. Oh, 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 oh. oh yeah, baby! They're your batteries. So when you <laughs> They're your batteries, dude. This is like fucking... It's giving, uh... Is stored in the balls energy. You focus on your testicles, you're literally charging your batteries. And of course, you're probably the first guy in your family lineage who's doing shit like this, at least for hundreds of years. So, of course, the shame's gonna come up. Dude, how is this not a joke, though? <laughs> of course, the fear is gonna come up. And of course. Nah. Wait, do you think it's real, though? <laughs> of course. The fear is gonna come up, and of course- He's smiling, they got on the right smiling. I feel like they fucking faked this one, though. The doubt's gonna come up, so I always just tell my students, say, what do your balls feel like right now? Smile into that feeling. <sighs> wow, he kinda does look like him, hey. <sighs> really staying- Is this a joke? Grounded in your nuts. <laughs> That's real, I'm the one on the left, thank you. In your body and your feet. <sighs> Good. And then you reach for the nuts, and you basically cup the nuts and you appreciate the nuts. Can you kind of feel? You appreciate the nuts, like that's a, like a verb, appreciate. The Reiki energy leaving my palm chakra into your ball sack. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the nuts, can you kind of? Yo, I want that to be my ringtone. <laughs> oh, one sec, I just gotta Feel new. the Reiki energy leaving my palm chakra into your ball sack. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the nuts, can you kind of feel the Reiki energy leaving my palm chakra into your ball sack? Can you f kind of feel the Reiki energy? Dude, wow, that's a lot. Eight, the nuts. Can you kind of feel the Reiki energy leaving my palm shocker? Can you kind of feel the Reiki energy leaving my palm shocker? Into your ball sack. Into your ball sack. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can you, can you get off of my, can you stop? Dude, these new fake words are fucking hard to remember. Wow. Can you stop palm, sh palm shaking my my nutsack? Can you kind of feel? Can you stop sending Reiki energy to the Reiki energy leaving my palm shocker into your ballsack? Dude, wow, my palm shocker into your nutsack. Yep, yeah. yeah. and we take three yep. deep breaths through the mouth. And then you say, "I see you, brother. I see you, brother. Mm -hmm. Amazing." And then you give them a hug. Nice. He smells good. Thanks, man. He smells pretty good, too. My name is that your boy's cologne? Fucking. What's that bitch from goddamn all fucking Jake Paul's goddamn thing pulls up? Anyways, what's this? My name is Will Blunderfield. We're in my apartment in Vancouver, Canada. And I. Hey, what? Let's go. We have a, a fellow palm shocker. Actual kung fu. So it's the daily discipline of harnessing and directing your sexual energy from your loins up into the rest of your system rather than constantly just shooting it out like most guys do. Some people are like, well, you're saying that, you know, you should love yourself as you are. Why <laughs> Stop laughing at our culture. Are you encouraging guys to grow their cocks? But I'm just saying, let your cock and your balls fully exist in the form that they're meant to exist in beyond the poisoning. <laughs> the sad What the fuck does that mean? Just go to the doctor, he's just like, yeah, you have to let your balls live it within the realm of space. You have to fucking, you have to put the palm chakra up your butthole next. Truth is that cock size is the smallest it's ever been in recorded history. So my holistic approach- Is that cause, oh wait, well, you know. What's this? Is a three pillar thing. It's about getting the- No. Pesticides- Asia, dude, stop! Plastics okay. out of your body. I just had to, is that, you know what I mean? I threw food at the wall because it didn't, well, it, it, wow, it's epic. I, I, yeah. Hey. <laughs> I'm gay like you. Okay. Through superfoods and detoxification protocols. Mm. Then it's actually sexual kung fu techniques, like pulling, literally like taking the coconut oil and milking your penis down 50 times, up 50 times, left 50 Bro, there's no way there's a difference. 50 times. 
Dude, it's literally a penis, though. Okay, well, I don't want to, like, get it taken down or something. Oil and milking your penis down 50 times. How do you fucking miss the Up blur, 50 though? times, left 50 times, okay. right 50 Wow. 50 times. Whatever. And straight out 50 times every day. My balls used to be the size of, like, enlarge, like, slightly bigger than an almond, mm -hmm. and now they're both the size of, like, a Brazil nut. Mm -hmm. That must have been his other thumb. What did you just say? Lar <laughs> like slightly bigger than an almond, and now they're both the size of like a Brazil nut. Mm -hmm. And it's great to be able to feel that. You know those were called nagar toes, nagar toes. Easiest way to really, dude, how come into the the penis in terms of lengthening it? You literally just make an okay grip, and you just pull it, pull it down. The penis and the tongue are the. Why does it have to say it like that too? I think this is near my house. If I'm being honest, I think I actually think this is very near my house. Just make an okay grip, and you just pull it. Pull it down. I'm not even kidding. The penis and the tongue. The penis are the uttermost extensions of the heart. In classical Chinese medicine, you're just like. Ah. Traditionally, you sit naked. My teacher Montauk Chia taught me this. Later on, we're going to talk a lot about screwing technique. Literally, focus your consciousness into your nuts because energy flows where the mind goes. There's also something that my dude Troy Casey taught me. It's called testicle slapping. Ugh. So you do this for maybe That's the most retarded shit I, I, I don't even know it gets more fucking retarded than that Two minutes, not too hard, not too easy, just right Mixing the I don't know about that dude The guy, this just seems like it was hard And and not easy and right Ugh. And not so right maybe Maybe two minutes Not just right, definitely not just Ugh. So you do this for maybe two minutes Not too hard, not too easy, just right Mixing the blood and the cheese Dude, there's no, there's no level of just right that goes into slapping your own balls. Your balls, increasing your testosterone, which will increase your- That's fucking bullshit, dude. I, well, at least I'll listen to this guy when I fucking need advice on how to increase testosterone. <laughs> yeah, doc, I'm just been low on testosterone, you know? You know how when you're in your, like, you know, you know you're on a de decline, man. I'm just- <laughs> Evolution's getting to me. And the doctor's like- And he looks down, he's like, what are you doing, Doc? What are you doing, Step Doc? <laughs> you have to slap your nuts 14 minutes a day. It's what I prescribe. <laughs> okay. Not too hard, not too easy, just right. Mixing the blood not too hard, balls, not too balls, increasing your testosterone, which will increase your manhood. And then you take the fucking nope. energy of nature. <sighs> I don't know why I flushed the toilet, force of habit. But anyway, so this is Shivam. Bamboo. Hmm, it's good. I've done that before and it's not good. I've I've actually peed my uh, I've 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 actually gotten peed on before, so. And I fucking drank pee multiple times. I've drank my own pee multiple times, like literally uh just like straight drink drink it. It's not good. So he's a fucking liar. Especially that yellow pee, dude. They're like fucking... Damn, dude. Drink some water. Bro, mm, it's good. No, shut the fuck up, dude. It's not good. Mm, it's good. It's like when the chef comes out, just... Like, mm, it's amazing. <laughs> it's good. It's like, bro, that's a cow dick. And it's so fucking good. You're so right. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I got Bro. my beard. I <laughs> carrots, organic carrots, because they make me feel good. I drink my piss because it makes me feel good. Can you tell us what same sex erotic bonding is? Yeah, same sex erotic bonding is when uh, two men or a group of men come together to do things that this culture would say would be like homosexual. For example, two men hugging heart to heart with the cocks touching. <laughs> That's like the. the the necessary point with the cocks touching breathing and doing our best to stay in a parasympathetic state of being rather than going into stress mode he's just so saying long words parasympathetic elephant homo sapiens first time was definitely really challenging to really be present with actually observing my yeah. brother's body and being present with him watching me the more you do it though the more you spend time with each other too the more you can actually just observe and witness the person for <laughs> wow, 
Why do I want to take this home and eat it? For everything they've gone through. It's no different than any- <laughs> What is smile? Observe and- How much were they fucking, like- what, what, like, I want to know what the ransom on the two guys, uh, the two guys on the sides are. Like, what's the ransom on their life? Why not give them some appreciation, send them some love? Brother, you've got a beautiful cock. you got a beautiful cock, baby. Thanks, brother. <laughs> it just it pans down. There's like a fucking two-year-old. <laughs> and then you hug heart to heart because the heart is on the left side of the body with the... Uh, that's, I, think that's a, I think that's a myth. I heard that that's a myth. I heard that that's a myth, and I've been waiting. Okay, hold up. I'm pretty sure that's a myth, because I remember if I found out it was, I, I was like in the center. Someone has to like tell me what you guys tell me what what's going on, because it was like it is in the middle. I believe it's in the middle, because I was like, hold up, why do we do that if it's in the middle? Yeah, it's literally dead center, and I heard that. I've heard that before. It's in the left of your, of your chest, and then. I was like, I saw a fucking like diagram or whatever the, you know, I've, I, 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 I caught up in this corpse and it was in the center. And I was like, wait, am I tripping that I heard that like all when I was a kid? But maybe because he's from Vancouver, maybe that's like a thing people say here and it's a myth or whatever. That's interesting. The cocks touching. When I started hanging out with these guys, it's not just Will, there's other people. No, he didn't call him baby. He called it a baby baby on the ground that was fucking naked that they didn't film. Little fucking naked baby. We're also engaging in, in these kind of practices. My assumption was like, oh, they must be gay. Oh, they. Bro, that's fucking insane. In, in these kind of practices. My assumption was. Damn. Dude. This is literally. Okay. This is very. Well, this is close to my house. I'm just gonna say. Like, I'm just gonna dox myself. <laughs> oh, they must be gay. Oh, they must want something. Yo! <laughs> I was not expecting that. <laughs> and we just like shock, shock my ass, or fucking palm shock my. B b b b b b the cameraman just goes. And just he the the guy's just sitting, right on his fucking elbow. Call that a palm. Sh that's a, that's just a shock. From me. It took a few years to finally build that trust with these guys that, oh, they're not trying to like subtly manipulate me and maybe they are. Oh, so it is fucking real. Honestly, love it. Some people just need that uh, nature vibe. Are gay underneath, but they're not acknowledging it. Whether we call ourselves <laughs> gay or straight or trans, like we think that these labels make us all so unique. And that Did he just dead name me? I'm actually kind of pissed. <laughs> they're so important when really to me, they're just tools that the matrix uses to divide us and control us. Oh, damn. Okay. He's on that Andrew Tate matrix vibe. Cause Love I it. feel like we're so much more than just one little word. But if you're going to call me something, call me a faggot. <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> that's a, that's a, <laughs> That's such a good soundbite. For so much There's so many good soundbites in this. Than just one little word. But if you're going to call me something, call me a faggot. <laughs> and then Facebook censors go off and I'm in Facebook jail now for 30 days. Uh, plus, I talk about medical freedom. So it's like a double whammy for me. Oh my God. The wild naked man denies uh, the existence of viruses. And he just like talks about all this crazy that I didn't learn about and I've been going to med school. Why does he have that goddamn head that those like fucking uh, chicken little disease bleed blobs have? You know what I'm talking about? That goddamn cranium buster 9000 out the seams. <laughs> Just busting out the seams in that bitch. Hey. You know? Go for five generations, okay? <laughs> Did you actually read the links that I sent? Oh my God, just accept that you're gay. <laughs> you're gay, you're gay, honey. The word that I was called most in high school was faggot. And I just love the intensity <sighs> oh. of that word. And I guess it's like how some black people reappropriate the N word. Yeah. I like to reappropriate the faggot. 
So you experienced like a lot of bullying in school and stuff like that? <laughs> yeah, it was pretty bad. Like people would like draw cocks in my mouth on my student council posters. And I guess they assumed that I was gay because I was a singer. I remember I was living in Manhattan. No, <laughs> that's not it. <laughs> and I was dating this guy. We just, you know, had a great meal and we, we held each other. Yeah, they're, they're, they're like, oh, he sings? That's why <laughs> he's gay. How fucking retarded. <laughs> that's what they have to be. That's the reason, man. In Manhattan. You keep telling yourself that. And, and I was dating this guy. We just, you know, had a great meet. Wait, and then he says, I'm dating this guy. I remember I was living in Manhattan and I was dating this guy. Oh, oh. Is that where you went to school or is that after school? This guy. We just, you know, had a great meal and we, we held each other's hands. Right when we got out, it was it started to rain and this guy takes out a switchblade and he's like, you fucking faggots, I'm going to get you. And like we ran and yeah. it just like showed me that there still is a lot of like. That's not fucking homophobia, though, is it really? You know, that's obviously a fucking homeless person fucking like homeless people fucking will literally just be mad at anything. Sometimes, obviously, like. Uh, I don't know. That's like, uh, I don't know. People people oftentimes fucking think, oh, it's because of my race. or It's like, well, maybe he's just fucking, like, literally would just do that to anybody, though. Like. Um, triggering that can happen when two men or two women. Because what, what's that called? Evident, is it anecdotal evidence or what? Like, you know what I mean? Like, what? But you aren't also straight and, and fucking, like, pissing the guy off uh, in another way. So how do you know it was because of that? Uh, not that pissing that that constitutes pissing someone off, but the guy's probably a pussy. The guy I pulled up in that furry con outfit, which you guys are gonna see soon. I can't wait for you guys to see the furry con fucking video. Shit slaps. I mean, yeah, I definitely have same sex attraction, and it's interesting. Maybe that's why they called you gay, hey, whatever, or fag, or whatever. When I do things like detox from glyphosate and atrazine, mm -hmm. I start to feel an increase in a procreative urge. The testes tingle around beautiful, <laughs> beautiful women, whereas before they were completely, I was cut off from them. The more I retain my seed, the more I eat well, the more I do same-sex erotic bonding, the more pussy I want to eat. So that's what I'm interested in. How can we use same-sex erotic bonding, superfood? Do I need this guy's fucking, uh, like, I need, can I fucking, can, can I get that feeling too? Nutrition, <laughs> detoxification, to enhance male potency so that men can feel I might imagine I might just pull up you know what I mean I might just uh find you know I just might might find out if this is my calling and detoxification to enhance male potency so that men can feel more juicy and primal and wild <laughs> lingam means pillar of light Jesus in Sanskrit the cock the ears How it are really great places to massage because they've got so many nerve endings in them that relate to the entire body. So in my classes, we get naked. Oh, because he has classes. And we literally massage our cocks together. <laughs> in my classes, we get naked. Oh, that's like uh, top 10 things I, know, I, thought, I thought I'd never hear. And this is called penis reflexology. This is oh, a diagram in terms of that's penis reflexology. Right. It's a little bit blurry. So basically we massage each other's heart meridians to help release self-hatred while cuddling and watching Obi-Wan Kenobi. And it was just so beautiful. And this is what my Celtic ancestors did. They would also <laughs> suck each other's nipples and share each other's beds. Yes. If you Bro, I cannot believe his, I can't even fucking believe that Star Wars was made. Uh, that's gonna be hard to believe that it was made 400 years ago. I fucking swear to God it was made like soon. Soon. Do some more digging. Spark. Uh, it has yet to be made. We're made. actually doing same-sex erotic bonding. They believed if you ingested the semen of a big strong man, that you would become a big strong man. And they still do <laughs> that in tribes that have not yet been contacted by the West. Yeah, they do it to my tribe too. But I've been contacted and touched. West in Papua New Guinea, for example, they actually have to suck as much cock as they can <laughs> before they hit the age of 20 or 21, and then they can marry a woman. <laughs> Dude, that's so bullshit. <laughs> he read that on some like forum where they're like, they're like, it's like a one of those like fucking erotic, uh, uh, fucking like gay, like fucking wish this was a real thing, fucking Reddit posts. Just like, <laughs> I swear to God, that has to be real. <laughs>
But God wouldn't make a planet without men sucking other God, men's God dick. Because they can before they hit the age of 20 or 21 and then they can marry a woman. Just to get as much sperm into their bodies as they can because they That's believe it, like, it's got testosterone in it too that they are like increasing their manhood. My testicles. Dude, I fucking just can't even picture that though. Like, um, I would love to picture it though. Anyways. Attract girls from all over the world. My testicle attract humans from all around the world. My balls produce massive amounts of testosterone. My balls produce massive amounts of testosterone. My testicles are an engine of alpha growth. My testicles are an engine of alpha growth. Beautiful. So for most of my life, I couldn't feel my balls. Now that I do this ritual regularly, I can actually feel the sperm being produced in my balls and I feel so much more grounded. I couldn't <laughs> feel my cock and balls unless I was fully erect. And even when I was fully erect, I couldn't even really feel my nuts. I felt just like there was nothing there. Also, I was sexually abused by a doctor when I was four. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Oh, that was funny. <laughs> I couldn't feel my cock and balls unless I was fully we erect. We need to see this again. And even when I was fully erect, I couldn't even really feel my nuts. I felt just like there was nothing there. Also, I was sexually abused by a doctor when I was four, so it was a combination <laughs> of like a chemical, almost like a chemical castration plus the shaming of the abuse. So the sexual kung fu lineage has literally helped me like feel my balls again, mix the blood. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Oh man. On the cheat in my nuts. People always say, Will, can I really grow my penis? And I say, yeah, just fucking pull on it. I witnessed this <laughs> option. <laughs> Bro, this is, I'm having way too much fun watching this. Oh man. People always say, Will, can I really grow my penis? Just pull on it. Penis, and I say, yeah, just fucking pull on it. I witness his cock change for sure. Like his cock's gotten bigger. It was probably flaccid, maybe two, three inches. And then erect, it was maybe five inches. Now, it's usually about three to four inches flaccid, and erect, it goes to about six, just over six inches. So many dudes that I work with and that I've chatted with, actually- I think only gay guys fucking care about size anyway every dude is worried about is their dick going to be perceived as small this like fear of like oh my god if i show my dick and this work has helped me to feel like i don't really care about what someone thinks of my dick i'm just like this is my dick none of you guys have super small dicks thanks <laughs> oh fucking i'm not there the changes i've noticed in my own genitals not just localized to that area it's more so their interconnection to the rest of my body if i'm engaging in sex with somebody I'm not just. You mean some man, D? Focused on. Not Mandy. Some man. Name with the last name of Deep. On this little, as Will would say, a bubble of awareness in Tom. that area. It seems to have coalesced back into a full system where, if I'm receiving a hug, for example, my whole body's involved usually, except for my genitals. I seem to be unaware of that. Even in those moments now, uh, my full body's back online. I'm not so much emotionally castrated from one area or not. A full revival of the intrinsic system. Uh, a full revival of the intrinsic system, okay. You're just fucking saying words, but... Uh, Damn! He's got a good yell, hey? The intrinsic system. Uh, 
Dude, he's actually, he actually he would be really good at it. You gotta try it. <laughs> Have you guys seen the Conor McGregor? <laughs> Conor McGregor trying to get everybody to drink his liquor. It's so funny. Every time he just like sells it so hard. You gotta try, you gotta get it past the label. You gotta try it. I have to taste it, mate. It's it is the finest man-made Irish whiskey there is on the market. He he would be really good in like a like a Viking movie though. You know. But he'd like pull out his dick and everybody like, oh, 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 oh. you know? And this is great to do like in a circle with a bunch of naked men because yeah. we communicate stuff. Nah, you could end that like, uh, you could you could say that after the end of any sentence. Yeah, oh, I was really hungry and then, wait, no, you actually can't. <laughs> and this is great to do like in a circle with a bunch of But it, it, it's one the one sentence that just makes me fucking hard no matter what we're talking about. Like, yeah, we can read, uh, you know, cool books to kids and they'll learn probably a lot though. But, uh, if you do, it's better if you do it with uh, naked men in a circle. Kind of like the mycelium network in the forest. Yeah. The mushroom is the cock, and the, <laughs> the mycelium are the testicles. So it's like, let them fill with this yang chi, with this yang prana. Shut up, dude. I fucking. <laughs> and exhale. Ah, appreciate it. Right? <laughs> with this yang prana. And exhale. Ah, appreciate it. It sounds like he like thought. I feel like Andrew's like, oh, I didn't say anything. Right? It's yang prana. And exhale. Ah, appreciate it. Right? Because <laughs> gratitude is the highest form of yoga. So you're like, you're this basically so autistic. blessing your nuts for the upliftment of all of humanity. <clears throat> and you're increasing the frequency of the mini brain of your gonads by smiling and growling into them. How gay is it to know like 400 different variations of the word uh, balls? Ah. And you can do this when you're having sex with a woman. You can. Thrust, if you're about to ejaculate and you don't want to ejaculate, growl into your balls. It's so powerful. You go, ah, and literally you can feel some of the energy <clears throat> leave your system and come into your body instead. And she'll probably be more wet because it, because women like to be ravished. I went to musical theater school. I was actually in Canadian Idol. I made it pretty Will far. Be. They kicked me off for being too theatrical. Too theatrical, bro. <laughs> okay. You don't think it was anything else? I don't even like the straight shit there. Like, this is fucking... I don't need to see this. I don't know why. To fast forward throughout the ages, <laughs> throughout the last 15 years, I was teaching what we would call, like, Hatha yoga, like, stretchy stretch yoga. Mm -hmm. And it was great, but it, it felt like there was something missing. I started to get into other modalities. I was like, I need more. It felt like there was something missing. It felt like when I pee, I ain't uh, pissing. You like that shit? And also I got addicted to cocaine. So I stopped doing that <laughs> and I started to look for other ways to get high. Drinking my piss gets me kind of high. I Shut up, dude. How it works, doing breath work. <sighs> you can't fucking say that right after fucking taking Meth, though? <laughs> Inhale. Suspend the breath. Squeeze the anus. Sex organ navel. Shunt the energy. <laughs> Squeeze your anus. Sex. Uh, sex. Inhale. Sex. Or, uh, Suspend the breath. Squeeze the anus. Sex organ navel. Shunt. Sex organ navel. The fuck? Sex organ navel. No. Sex organ navel. <sighs> Inhale. Suspend the breath, squeeze the anus, sex organ navel. Shunt the energy up your spine into your pineal. Shun it. Oh, shut up. Stop, dude. So <laughs> keep the energy in your body, round forward. It's fucking pulsating, dude. <laughs> Shunting all this creative energy into the rest of your system. Shunt. <laughs> wow. High on your own supply, baby. <sighs> <laughs> For me, rewilding is reconnecting to Mother Earth. Uh, a lot of yogic lineages that are really popular these days, like Kundalini, is all about connecting to the third eye and to heaven and to other dimensions. But the thing I love about rewilding and sex kung fu, it's about connecting to your balls, your cock. Your <laughs> Try about rewilding. That's so the guy who's like, yeah, I'm not filming this shit, bro. I'm not that gay. He's just like, let me just film the other filmer. It's all about connecting to <laughs> kung fu. It's about connecting to your balls, your cock. 
your tribe and Mother Earth. <laughs> like, I don't want to fucking be seen in this without you seeing it. It's about coming back into that wild state. Instead of being a chihuahua. If I was there, I would have just fucking, I would have been planted prone on the rocks behind, just like zooming in on the fucking ass. Holes. Coming back into that. I go, no, grab your butt. Mid shot. This is your body. There's no reason for us <clears throat> to not have access to being free at all times within reason. I think the apprehension that people have in wanting to create a set of rules around that is that so many people have unhealthy associations to their sexuality that they are a danger, hence creating these strong boundaries in society. In order to get to a place where you can free the nipple and free the rectum completely, you also have to look at, yeah, the- Bro, the there's shaft. never gonna be a day. Free, I like how you just do <laughs> so gay nigga to just throw in the free the rectum shit as well. <laughs> oh, that's not getting freed though. Should be free, especially around fucking playgrounds. You should. Dude, that, if, if if it was my world, it would be like you have to take off your pants. You're near kids. In order to get to a place where you can free the nipple and free the rectum completely, you also have to look at yeah the the shadowy, shitty part of people that would want to take advantage of that or are only doing it as this means of getting away with something. You know, I want to show my genitals to people because there's something unresolved there, as opposed to this is these are my genitals. This is fucking it. No big deal. Semen retention. Isn't that a fucking beautiful thing? Everybody. The Cho Gang's from everywhere. It's like fucking lit. I love it. The Cho Gang is literally from fucking everywhere. It's like the best feeling. I love it. It's the most global fucking shit. I love it. So that doesn't mean you never ejaculate. It means that you increase the time between ejaculating. I mean, if we think about it, a whole new baby can be created from an ejaculation. So if we're just constantly ejaculating, we're kind of wasting our life force. Nope. No, because no. So I teach them how to separate orgasm from ejaculation. Mm -hmm. So then they can choose when they want choose. to come, ejaculate, mm -hmm. or shunt that energy upwards. So when's the last time that you um, ejaculated? Last night. What? Yeah, I can actually show you. This is, this is pretty intense. So me and my buddy Brian did a new moon ejaculation ritual. We wrote what we wanted to let go oh, of. Oh, fuck off. It's crusty. Onto it. Ew! We wrote what we wanted to let Why? go of. And we ejaculated onto it. I care about the pressure in here. Caring what others think and overthinking and shame. Yeah, for sure. Those are great things. I wouldn't come on the fucking paper to get it done, though. But uh, those are good things to get over. You know what's funny? I was literally at a... I went into um, this, like, uh, coffee place yesterday. And I was just like, oh, I need some Splenda for, for this. Because uh, uh, I got a fucking Happy Meal because I'm fucking... I'm, like, fucking 50 years old. <laughs> yeah. And um, I got I was like well, I was like oh, I need Splenda though so I went into a coffee store and I was like I'm just gonna get uh, uh some and they're like these they the people are like watching me I go and I go to, like almost go to the fucking the, the, these girls are like behind the counter I almost go to them I'm like uh oh it's Splenda over here I was like I'm just gonna get Splenda for my milk and I just put it in and I was like all right I'm, that's uh all right woo and they just like walked out and um. And I was like, nobody fucking on this planet could do that without feeling anything. Like, my heartbeat didn't increase at all. I was just, like, completely, I had no feeling of, like, someone would be like, I was so embarrassed. And they probably talked about it for fucking a while after, but I was like, I literally feel nothing after, like, just, it, it, I, I, the feeling of, like, embarrassment, I don't think it, like, honestly, I, like, I... I do spend a lot of time getting it, like, completely fucking washing it out, but I think it's like not even a fucking thing anymore or my or it's just so like my down my that that the uh, the level at which i would need to go to push the boundary further is just fucking retarded out there but yeah it was actually very powerful and then we let it dry that's his his is a bit more intense ah! <coughs> Sorry, you guys can see that. <laughs> With the recent ejaculation ceremony we did. Bruh. 
Wow. <laughs> wow. That guy had a school bus on his fucking uh, come out of his day. <laughs> They're already born. Gee. That's fucking disgust. Did my intention was to purge uh, certain energies or certain narratives. Then we do some sex kung fu. So test. Hey, guys, good looking though. I, I can fucking. I probably. Uh, I palm shock his his asshole. Fucking definitely. Breathing, and then we draw up some of that energy as we're um, stimulating ourselves, as we're exciting ourselves, so that all the sexual energy doesn't get poured out of the ejaculate. And then eventually we bring ourselves to full ejaculation. Um, and then later we'll we'll burn. I know where that rock that is. Paper. <laughs> So we're letting go of shame. Oh my god. Oh, that was the guy. So now we know. And later we'll we'll burn <laughs> we'll burn that paper. <laughs> so we're letting go of shame. Did he just laugh about burning the Quran? <laughs> shame, caring about what other people think, overthinking. I think my comfort zone is shame. So leaving the comfort zone is coming to joy. But it's still, it's like, do I deserve to feel so good and so juicy? Because I felt so bad for so long. And what I really want to say oh. is that gay panic has been brainwashed into all of our psyches because these types of activities release high amounts of testosterone. They, they lower competition in comparison. It's a sense of de-armoring. You know, there's far too much competition between men. And if the world's male leaders did this work together, I believe there'd be a lot more peace and camaraderie. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. And a lot less first ladies. Uh, dude, on- Yo! Yo! There's gonna be a moment when there's a f the first man. The first man- Mandy again. <laughs> the first guy. First guy. Yeah, my gay husband. <laughs> He's gay, I'm not. Boxing match. Um, yeah. You guys notice that's how Idub says boxing? Boxing match? Boxing match? Okay, why is this so fucking laggy? Wake up. Ew! Don't need to see it, bruh. Nope, I actually do not need to see that. Don't need to see it. Heard there was a secret chord. Oh, banger! Hairline looking peak. Shut up, dude. I'm fucking balding from my nutsack. Heard there was a secret code that Jesus played and it creeped the board. All right, but you don't really believe in two by fours, do ya? I tied you to my new tree, Cruciferous with the tree peas. From the future, hallelujah. Yeah. You like fucking raps about. Fucking damn! I was trying to think of that Hermione. Remember those uh, little fucking plants from fucking Harry Potter? <laughs> Harry Potter. They fucking um. Me me. What were they called? Yeah, I know what time it is. What what were those fucking fuckers called? Mandrake or Mandragora? <laughs> I just remembered. Lol. Okay. David, play, hey, David, please, please Lord, Lord, but, but you, you don't. don't really care for music, do you? And she tied, tied you to yeah. Okay. Oh, I like the fucking, like, artistic expression that he's uh, doing. Well, I can't even sing along now, man. So. Tied you to his kitchen chair and in it That's my version. Cut your hair from the lips to you to the hallelujah It's not a cry that you hear at night Oh, it's not someone who claims to have seen the light Nope! Stop, dude. You're doing too many fucking creative decisions. It's not somebody who's seen the light It's a cold and it's a broken hallelujah <laughs> Have you guys seen fucking Freddie? Oh, wait, have you guys heard uh, Freddie Mercury's fucking uh, when he sings? It's so funny. Like he's like, uh, they. Hallelujah. <sighs> fucking awesome. Like the original recordings are epic. When I was there, when I filmed the original recordings for you guys to see, it was crazy, man. Like 1970, I was like, what the hell? So I fucking I gave him AIDS.
claims to have seen the light. It's, it's a cold and then it's a broken. Hallelujah. Sing with me. Good singer. Hallelujah. Oh shit. What the hell? I need to come to Toronto. You goddamn right, BPG plays. Fuck yeah! I'll see you right there on a the flight, boy. Yeah. What you just saw was a surprise. That's good. All right, well that was lit. Ah! That was actually funny as fuck, though. <laughs> Eighteen. 18. Please don't try to play 